Driver development has become an increasingly important part of motorsport, and AVL has been a key player in the scene since 2012. Joining me to talk about their program so far is Lucy Mawson and Julia Stadler from AVL. So Lucy, one of the drivers in the W Series this year, a platform that's really given some drivers a higher profile, is Marta Garcia, and she's yeah. been working with AVL. How would you rate her debut season in W Series? Well, I think for um, Marta, W Series has been like a real second chance for her career. Obviously, originally she was in the Renault driver programme, and she was in that in 2017 when she was competing in Spanish Formula 4, um, and she had quite a disappointing season, and she was ultimately dropped from the programme at the end of uh, 2017. Um, and then she took a year out of racing last year. Um, she was completing her sort of school studies, but when W Series was announced, she made it to the for that and so you know she's really impressed um, she took a win at Norris Ring that was quite a dominant weekend for her she sort of absolutely blitzed the field um, in qualifying and then the race she just controlled the, the whole pace there have only been five W Series winners this year so for Marta to be one of those is obviously um, very impressive in what has been an incredibly strong field this year and it's really given sort of a yeah new lease of life to her career to be you know um, a sort of a renowned or a, a name to watch in junior single seaters as it goes forward. She obviously was fourth in the championship overall um, and that's guaranteed a replacement W Series for next year. So um, it'll be excellent to see what she can do when she returns um, in 2000, uh, 2020 and uh, obviously AVL will help and see what develops there. Obviously, Julia, as Lucy mentioned, Marta's had a bit of a stop-start career really until this year as well. So how has AVL worked with her to get her in a position where she can perform so strongly in W Series? Yeah, since um, August 2019, she's part of our AVL Racing Dri Young Driver program, where we support young motorsport talents in the early days of their career and give them access to our advanced driver simulator. And with the simulator, they are able to train specific race situations or even a whole race weekend with training, qualification, qualifying and the race itself. So they can really yeah, get into the mood and get the feeling and find out how they get the best um, or the ideal position on the track. And also we consider with our driver telemetry that they also consider the psychological factors. Like if you are driving in a simulator, you're relatively relaxed. And then we have to consider that the heart rate or stress level, sweat production, they, to keep them up mm -hmm. and make them as far as possible to the reality and with some specific noises or the smell we can consider that. So we just started with Marta and we hope that we can develop her in the W Series and maybe also for other series in the future. Yeah, and obviously W Series supports DTM. Ferdinand Habsburg is also in the AVL driver programme. So Tom, how has his debut year in DTM been? It's been a real learning curve for him in being a, a rookie to a series which traditionally is for experienced drivers. If you look at the front runners, they are in their 30s usually. Obviously, Ferdinand is, is much younger than that. But he's also joined a programme brand new, the Aston Martin programme, cars built in 90 days. The reliability problems have been continual through that. So Ferdinand's had to adapt around a really difficult situation. And he's also up against a champion in Paul de Resta. Uh, Daniel Cadell has been there for a long time. Jake Dennis has got huge pedigree as well. So he's had to come in learn the series, adapt on the fly, and he's done quite a good job. And there's been some races where he's been able to put himself in the point scoring position, which for Aston Martin this year is the most they can ask for, really. So he's done enough to earn himself a second chance in 2020, which I think for him is the most important thing to get out of this year. We've spoken about two drivers that take part in the DTM paddock in different series. Obviously, there's different circumstances there as well. So how do you tailor a program for each driver to make sure they're getting the best development possible for their careers? So that's a really good question because our services, the Advanced Driver Simulator, can be 100% customized to the specific driver and depends what the driver really wants to achieve, which, in which series he is driving or she is driving. So we can really find out at the beginning, adjust to each other and find out what's the real problem and then really define the whole strategy and the whole approaches. And of course, every session to the driver, it depends. Do you want to focus on a specific race? And then, as I said, really go through the whole race weekend with all the psychological mm -hmm. pressure or do you want to just do it in overall and get a better racing feeling for example. Sure. Well, so we've talked about drivers and development as well but you're not just solely restricted to drivers as well, engineering is another area that you're obviously active in as well so how do you use things such as Formula Student to help prepare people for their careers? Formula Student is an 
immense and really essential part for us to find future employees and we are really active in that sense so all our global um, um, affiliates are working with them so we have over 50 teams working with us and we recruit them we help them with advices we give them access to all our tools softwares test bed time advices back to the business presentation so it's the whole package again and again completely customized to the specific teams to give them support and also get the best in return and use them as brand ambassadors on the social media as well.